A rather unique view, auroras dancing above these satellite antennas at the Svalbard satellite station high in the Arctic. Here, next to one of the most northern cities in the world, is the perfect location to track polar orbiting satellites, including some for the European Space Agency. Here at the KZ station at Svalbard, we have about 80 tracking antennas. Um, uh, this station is very unique. Uh, we have a perfect location uh, for uh, tracking polar LEO spacecrafts. Um, and the main reason being that we can see uh, 14 out of 14 daily orbits. The spherical radomes protect the antennas from the harsh weather conditions of the Arctic environment. Inside, the antennas work like any other ground station, following a satellite to collect its data, check its health, and send commands back. Data from ESA's Earth explorers, such as Aeolus and SMOS, are downlinked to Svalsat, as well as from the Sentinel satellites for Europe's Copernicus Environment Monitoring Program. Eight of these antennas are dedicated to tracking the Copernicus Sentinels. The visibility of these uh, sat Sentinel satellites up here are about 14 minutes from the time they come up from the horizon and the time they are uh, not visible longer. And during that time we uh, download uh, the payload data, the housekeeping data, and sometimes we speak to the satellite. That means commanding the satellite. In addition to the Earth observation satellites, the ground station also supports Europe's Galileo network for navigation, as well as for search and rescue. While this location is optimal for communicating with the satellites orbiting close to the North Pole, the snow, cold, and long periods of darkness makes life for people working here a challenge. To ensure that the environmental conditions do not affect the ground operations, teams of two people work in 24-hour shifts to monitor each satellite pass. All the data from these satellites are very important for a lot of people around the world when it comes to uh, the weather, the health, the, uh, the, uh, the future of the planet, of course. So it's, it's really nice to be part of that and to, to help people get this information and distribute it. Across the globe, teams at ground stations work around the clock to download vital information and track the health of satellites that are checking the health of our planet.